Severe acute malnutrition during weaning. Synopsis. What is severe acute malnutrition and its relation with weaning? What is weaning? When to start weaning food? Need for weaning. Nutritional needs for infants. Types of supplementary foods. What is baby led weaning? Myths and practices in complementary feeding in India. Clean and safe food. Commercial weaning food. Low cost supplement food provided by the government. Fortification of complementary food products. Problems in weaning. Reference. Sam. Severe acute malnutrition. Severe acute malnutrition is defined by a very low weight for height by visible severe wasting or by the presence of nutritional edema. Severe acute malnutrition is caused by a significant imbalance between nutritional intake and individual needs. It is often caused by both number of kilocalories per day and by vitamins and minerals. Educational status, duration of breastfeeding and the time of initiation with mothers are noted with high significant association. It is observed that 43% of children are normal and 57% fell in various grades of malnutrition. By promoting healthy eating and awareness in rural mothers, malnutrition can be tackled easily. In infants, breastfeeding and weaning are not only crucial for optimal growth and development, but also important for future physical and mental well-being. Infection, growth retardation and high mortality occurs when infants are introduced early to solid foods. The recommended solution to the problems are improved recipes, access to safe water, good sanitation and promotion of breastfeeding. What is weaning? The term weaning comes from the word weemen which means to accustom an infant or other young mammal to food other than its mother's milk. Solid food added to an infant's diet is called becost. When to start weaning? Introducing babies to solid foods which is also called as complementary feeding or weaning. This should start when the baby is around 6 months. At the beginning, it is not important how much the baby eats. Firstly, it needs to get used to the idea of eating. Here, the age of introduction to supplementation foods is 3 to 5 months in urban allies and middle income group whereas supplementation in urban poor is delayed by 7 to 9 months and 9 to 11 months in rural poor. Waiting around 6 months gives the baby time to develop so that they can cope fully with solid foods. The infant's digestive system is also mature enough to digest starch, protein and fat in non-milk diet. Solid foods can be given between 6 to 9 months so that they can hold easily in their mouth. These solid foods are made into purees, cereals and baby rice added to milk. Need for weaning Increase in needs of calories and protein in growing children cannot be met by the output of mother's milk after 6 months. Milk is a poor source of vitamin C so fruit juice is provided. Even iron rich foods can be given from 6 months onwards because iron stores in infants last only up to 4 to 6 months. Supply of breast milk is decreased because the baby suckles less frequently and less efficiently. The baby runs the risk of recurrent infection which is likely to result in malnutrition, diarrhea and respiratory infection. Therefore, the below graph represents energy from breast milk with energy from weaning. Nutritional needs for infants. A healthy average breastfed infant requires approximate energy of 200 kilocalories in 6 to 8 months, 300 kilocalories in 9 to 11 months, 550 kilocalories in 12 to 23 months respectively. Here, an ideal complementary food has to supply the required nutrients with amount in percent. They are high in 97%. Zinc 86%, Phosphorus 81%, Magnesium 76%, Sodium 73%, Calcium 72%. The gastric capacity of the baby is one-fifth of an adult, but the nutritional needs are higher than that of adults. Hence, give small feeds frequently. Baby food recipes collection. In this six groups, make sure to add any one of these foods to baby's meal. Types of supplementary foods. 
under supplementary foods there comes liquid supplement here breastfeeding is reduced to 3 or 4 times per day and animal milk is substituted as for the first feed cow's milk is diluted with boiled water at the proportion of 2 is to 1 oranges sweet lime and grapes serve to supplement the productive nutrients which is not present in breast milk if fresh juice is not available, we can use green leafy vegetables to make spinach soup, vegetable soup in an alternative way. Fish liver oils can also be given to infants as it is a good source of vitamin A and D. Firstly, start with a single vegetable flavor because babies naturally loves sweet taste. To shape their preference on green leafy vegetables, start with different vegetable flavor to train their taste bud and to enjoy the food in later life. Number 2. Solid supplements in a mashed form. These kind of supplements are started during the 7th and 8th month of the baby's life to, de uh, to meet the demand of energy and protein requirement in the developing period these complementary foods are introduced they include well cooked and mashed cereals vegetables and fruits for example carrot puree rice banana flour ragi porridge etc amelia's rich food are more popular during the weaning period this includes sprouted cereals which are sun dried and roasted during the process of malting, the enzyme amylase increases due to the conversion of starch to maltose. For a gain of vitamins and minerals, a variety of vegetables and fruits are used in the diet. These are few uh, pictures which represent the consistency and uh, the mode in which the weaning food should be started off. Number 3. Solid supplements which are in unmashed form. By around the 7th month, the baby's teeth or the teething begins, which results in irritation due to the swelling of the gums. Therefore, small pieces of vegetables or fruits are given to reduce this discomfort. Can be classified as idiapam, idli, chapati, rice and fruits uh, with removed skin and seed are given to little ones. Next, coming to the plate of Anna infant the plate must be a full of balanced and a colorful diet which includes colorful fruits different kinds of vegetables uh, different kinds of grains and cereals example rice wheat ragi millets etc and protein suppliers also in addition to protein we also add fats and oil like ghee butter cheese etc and dairy product is a must Instead of spoon feeding, finger foods are more recommended as it allows the baby to explore the color, texture and the taste of the food which we give them and it also helps in the finger coordination especially after 9 months. When summarizing the weaning stages, we can conclude that each stage evolves from the other by saying during the stage 1 that is at 6 months, the food is cooked, grind and strained into a very thin puree texture whereas in stage 2 that is of 7 to 9 months the straining process is removed which leads to clumpy food textures in stage 3 that is 9 to 12 months semi solid food is used for improving chewing efficiency and finger coordination tense of complementary feeding during the stage 1 that is around 6 to 8 months we start with 2 to 3 tablespoon of the thick porridge and well mashed food at a frequency of 2 to 3 times in a day along with frequent breastfeeding here 1 teaspoon is equal to 15 ml the stage 2 that is 9 to 11 months we start with half cup of bowl full of chopped and mashed food at a frequency of 3 to 4 uh, meals per day here 1 cup is equal to 250 ml the stage 3 that is 12 to 23 months we give uh, we give a 1 cup or 3 fourth of a bowl uh, of chopped and mashed vegetables or fruits uh, at the frequency of 3 to 4 times per day on a note on the baby may not like the food for the first time any food should be offered at least 8 times before deciding that the baby does not like it Offering the same vegetables again may increase the acceptance for the vegetable from 9 months onwards. 
what is baby led weaning baby led weaning means skipping spoon feeding purees and letting babies feed themselves with finger foods from the start here they have benefits like uh, uh, helps in the support development of hand and eye coordination chewing skills and a healthy eating habit this also provide an opportunity to explore the taste aroma texture and the color of the food which we provide to discuss about the myths and practices that are commonly practiced in india during complementary feeding the first one is the avoidance of cereals and pulses because they are considered to be difficult to digest for an infant undiluted milk is avoided so are fresh juice milk and sugar as they are thought to be produce worms in the stomach wheat rava ghee is considered heavy to digest and cause cough uh, jaggery spicy foods papaya mango beetroot uh, mutton fish egg are considered as hot food and whereas banana lemon juice curd buttermilk and ice cream are considered as cold food in various region and thus has excluded from the diet of the infants fruit juice spicy foods a uh, fried uh, egg a uh, fried foods egg goa tea coffee and non vegetarian foods are also considered harmful for the child can uh, reduce the half of the uh, prevalence of diseases hence hygiene practices during food preparation and feeding are important in the prevention and control of gastrointestinal disease in the infants and children the simple hygiene practices which we can follow are washing hands before preparation and feeding an infant safe storage of food feeding directly soon after preparation using clean utensils for cooking and avoid bottle feeding and encouraging family food as a complementary feeding we have lots of commercial weaning foods as these commercial food has both advantage and disadvantage the disadvantage is that uh, because of these commercially available infant weaning complement weaning or complementary feedings the duration of exclusive breastfeeding is reduced and replaced by these home based complementary feeding then the advantages as this is easily available and more affordable uh they are better than the poor quality complementary foods that are prepared in the home it provides the enough nutrients for the infants studies reports that the common occurrence of acute severe malnutrition is mainly during the weaning stage which can lead to lifelong deficiency therefore the government of india has produced or given a multiple choice of supplementary food in which a few of them are listed below first one is indian uh, multi purpose food which is given by cftri where the composition is low fat ground flour bengal flour which is fortified with vitamin a b1 b2 t and calcium at the ratio of 75 uh, s to 25 the second is malt food which is also given by cftri where the composition is cereal malt low fat ground nut flour roasted bengal gram at the ratio of 40 is to 40 is to 20 and the supplementary food that is produced by nin uh, the, uh, with a composition of roasted wheat flour green gram flour ground nut and sugar or jaggery at the ratio of 20 is to uh, 30 is to 20 is to 8 is to 20 creation of complementary food products in india complementary foods are predominantly plant based animal foods consumed by infants don't adequately fill the micronutrients requirement like iron zinc and calcium the fortification of foods with micronutrients and vitamins supplementation for mothers don't uh, do not only ensure their health but also ensure the maintenance of the adequate concentration in the breast milk in india wheat flour uh, is fortified with iron and folic acid multigrain flour is supplemented with the uh, iron vegetable oil with vitamin a milk with vitamin d and a long term strategy is being used to combat micronutrient deficiency problems faced during weaning obesity too much of quantity of feeding or heavy concentrated food can lead to overweight of the infant 
commercially available processed food when overfed may lead to obesity underweight when less concentrated food is fed it may lead to underweight malnutrition in early childhood may result in impaired cognitive and social development and reduce productivity in the later life due to the low level of iga an immature enzymatic activity that uh, this may put the infant to higher risk of allergy the most common food that causes allergy in infants are wheat milk egg and citrus juice next is lactose intolerance lactase deficiency is usually not a problem for an infant this results in when feeding does not last long enough for the higher fat hind milk to let down so mother should lengthen the breastfeeding session at each breast or allow an entire feeding to be taken at one breast next is choking it can be caused due to the child trying to eat run and breathe at the same time choking can be prevented by cutting the food uh, into uh, small sizes or tiny fine pieces and conversation and motor activity must be strictly avoided during feeding